Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So, I have, uh, I was looking for one and thinking, you know what, there's really not that much here that is... It's one of these that there's just not that much sometimes to stream. So I thought, you know, it's probably better just to do like a summary video. Uh, people will be able to digest it a hell of a lot easier. I think I will be moving towards a different format in the future. We'll see. Uh, obviously, the shape of that will be uh, yet to be determined. Uh, but yep, things are looking well. We were quite lucky in regards to the Balaban Langdons. It does seem as if he does have his carries down in this area. Uh, these subs will continue to hang around this whole area. We're going to continue to go south a little bit. I'm going to send... Uh, there's some additional subs. The reason why I'm going to continue south is because I do want to see a rough sort of position. This sub's going to head south. Uh, this sub over here is heading back to refuel. Well, sorry, to be repaired, in fact. Uh, but we do have additional subs that will be headed out this way. So we'll be able to try and get a rough position. I'm going to send these two subs down south, and we'll see if this is actually near the area. We do have a G4M1, so at least we do have a superior amount of naval search out this way. It is an interesting one, really. Uh, we did shoot down a good chunk of aircraft, and I was um, an R and about actually bombarding Palembang with the actual heavy cruisers that we do have here now. And it is very tempting, but I think it's probably worthwhile to hold on. We do have our forces ashore, at least we do have a decent chunk of the forces ashore. We do have another uh, 100 plus assault vehicle to land here shortly as well. It's going to be interesting. I don't know if it's fortified this. I, I don't know. There might be unit fortifications. There might be fortifications of some nature. Uh, it's a little bit unclear, really, as to what a fortress Palembang looks like. So I don't imagine he's gone whole hog. He could have moved more forces in here by now, but he hasn't, so that's fine. Uh, it's probably not going to be easy to take. It is a difficult uh, position to take due to the actual terrain, which is times three. I thought it was times four for some reason, but it's only a urban heavy. That's times four. So, uh, yeah. It's probably going to be hard. Uh, I don't see it falling for a couple days, really, to be honest. But we do have these forces that are moving in. They absolutely do need to arrive at Palembang. I mean, the good news is we do have all this additional AV that comes from the actual engineers. There's obviously more to arrive here as well. And so there is additional AV, sorry, additional salt volume that we do have access to. Uh, I'm going to have them just remain here for the time being. I do not want them to actually attack. Their fatigue and disruption is okay. But what we'll have to do is just kind of pray for a miracle <laughs> as far as it goes. We might bombard Palembang, but that is a last... Uh, that should be on... Uh, <laughs> that should be on service. There we go. That is a... Uh, mm, it, it's not something we want to do. If it takes a while, then okay. We'll just see how we go on. Uh, we do have the luxury of actually having the troops ashore now, which is a good thing. So once we're ashore, then at least we can work with that. Uh, we did have a good level of air cover. Hopefully it will continue. There is more fatigue this time around. Obviously, these forces are a little bit further out, but then again, the fighting was over Palembang anyway, so it's about the same as last time. Uh, but it will give us a severe level of fatigue, really. And the interesting thing is going to be, will he bring his carriers back? If he does, then that's also a good thing, because we are likely to be able to get away tomorrow as well. Uh, it's only this force over here. These forces are likely to unload during the actual night. A uh, thousand or two thousand or, or something like that of supply is probably enough for the time being. We'll see. As much as we can get unloaded is good. But I think what we'll do then is we'll pull out tomorrow and uh, go with that, really. Ideally, just pull out quickly and then at least all the shipping is out of the way. And then the troops will have to do the hard fighting, but they'll actually have a supply unloaded shortly to at least be able to do that. I mean, there's um, a shore 131 assault value already. Obviously, it's very much uh, split up here, but we do have, obviously, the other elements of the 124th Regiment landing shortly. What I will be doing as well is looking to bring additional AV, so we can do that, but there's potential for that. Uh, yeah, so... I imagine he he was at level 2 fortifications, I think it was. He's likely up to level 3 fortifications right now, which is not too surprising. Uh, it's a difficult one, but eventually he will crack. His forces will eventually crack once we get to a critical mass. And it's a lot of force here. It's just the issue that, well... Far too late on it, but hey, can't uh, kick myself over it all the time. Like THD is a good player. He definitely was better when we did start playing. Obviously, a lot of mistakes that I made had allowed this to happen. Uh, but then, obviously, not to discredit what he did as well. Obviously, he did, uh, well, he made the right moves. He made the right decisions to turn Singapore into a uh, fortress, essentially. And the difficulty as well is the fact that Singapore does not capitulate, like you would see historically. So it's difficult. We actually have to take the fortress, but it can be done. So it will be done. It will happen. Uh, we do have additional engineers arriving across next turn, so I think I probably will wait for these guys to arrive next turn. Actually, no, they're going to be a little bit longer. Let's see. Um, 
they would arrive. It might just be worthwhile to attack now, to be fair. Hmm. How are they actually looking for that Singapore? Let's see. We do have the 38th Division on the way. 57, 42. I guess what we'll do then is we'll give it another day. We'll allow these additional forces to arrive. He's likely at level 2 or... Well, he's likely at level 3 fortifications now. Uh, so I'll give it one more day, then I think we'll order a deliberate attack. The 38th Division is on its way, so we'll give it some time. Attack once more and then give it some time for the 38th to arrive, and then we should be able to finally finish off with a series of successive uh, deliberate attacks, really. And we do have a lot of plan uh, planning. Obviously, we have a seven arm in there. We have two headquarters. Eventually, it will fall. Eventually, he will lose a, <laughs> a critical amount of troops to just not be able to hold on anymore. So that's good. In the meantime, we have managed to actually get forces over here, so they will arrive at Benjamin tomorrow. So they'll actually be able to make uh, significant use of Benjamin in the near future. We are going to be moving on Java shortly, really. We have the forces in place. It's just going to have to take some time, but it will happen. I may have to fly some supply in here. We do have uh, that ability, which is always a good thing. Some more zeros over here, which can online shortly. But yeah, things are going well enough. Ambon is a bit of a shame over here. I might... It might be worthwhile to bombard, but I'm going to bring some artillery support over here to Ambon in the near future, really. Uh, we have our forces still moving in over here towards Gaian, which isn't going to take too long. Um, yeah, I think what we'll do then is, obviously once Singapore's freed up, obviously we'll conquer Palembang. Then I think what we'll have to do is obviously, it'll be a choice between either taking Rangoon or Java, but Java will have to come first to secure this. But the good news is I'm going to be launching an air defense against Rangoon shortly. So what we'll do then is we'll essentially throw as, as much air power as we can at Rangoon until it is shut down. I was going to land a paratrooper support player, but I don't know. I think we'll give it a little bit more reconnaissance. I don't know if you could even take that unit, so it might just be poor reconnaissance. So we'll give it a little bit more time. Give it a little bit more time just to see if uh, these guys get some additional preparation. So that's not a bad thing. So we'll just see how it goes. I'll give it another day. There might be something there. I'm just a little bit unsure of this moment in time. It seems kind of funky that there's nothing there. So I don't know if that unit's restricted. That's the thing. In China, we have our forces moving down this way, which is fine. Uh, obviously, these forces moving to the north. We do have the Chinese forces that moved into Nanyang. The good news is he will have to attack Nanyang next turn to take the base. So at least we'll actually get a sense of what his actual AV looks like, which is very good. Our forces will continue to move their maneuver in the area as well. I mean, we are on a major road here, so it's not going to take too long until we're actually in Nanyang once again. He is, well, he is actually showing some level of uh, awareness of the situation here, because he's not moving all his men, which is good. It's, it's rather interesting to see, to be honest. Uh, the interesting thing is, it comes down to these guys. I might be better off moving them to the south over here, where it is wooded terrain rather than being in clear terrain. I'm still on the major road, so it's no big deal there. But I don't want to get caught out, so I think I will move them just to the south, one hex to the south. I'll move them in combat mode. Well, actually, no, I'll move them in movement mode. And then at least we can keep going over there. So we'll have them... Uh, have them move. Um, which is not too bad. I do have additional forces arriving on the way in the near future, so that's fine. So we'll be able to turn Nanyang into something of a pocket if we're quite lucky. Uh, over here in the Pacific, I have organized a bombardment force. I do have the DMS is actually going in here to clear mines, if, if there are indeed any mines, I'm not too sure. Uh, I do desperately need to refuel certain ships. There's a lot of ships that have an uneven amount of fuel, but that's fine, we can deal with that. I am sending a large force for a bombardment, so I see that's going to be comprised of Mutsu, Yamashiro, Issei, Hayuga, Atakao, Atakao, Takao, uh, Takao, uh, Takao, uh, Atago, Nachi, Ashigara, Mogami, Mukuma, Furutaka, Hatsukazi, which is a destroyer. <laughs> so that's, um, one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven. No, it's like one. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven heavy cruisers and four battles, uh, battleships. Uh, so that will be a fair bombardment. I've also ordered a deliberate attack over here. I do have two zero squadrons from the uh, Minica Batai that are flying long range cap over the battleships. I don't think more would be particularly necessary. Uh, it's two groups of 16, so it's still a decent uh, level of cover there, really. I'm not going to hit the actual base with aircraft. I don't think it's particularly worthwhile. I do have a D3A1 Vals from the Kidipatai, the Mini Kidipatai, running uh, ASW, which is good. The B5N2K is still running naval attack, just in case it gets a little bit uh, courageous. 
I doubt it, but uh, it's likely to look well. I'm running a lot of reconnaissance over Port Moresby. Uh, night and day reconnaissance as well, so I do we have some good targets. But we'll see. We will have a deliberate attack going in. These guys have 370 AV, so they have recovered somewhat. And 21 fatigue, which is pretty good. 7 disruption, so very low levels of disruption. As so they've got 68 uh, plan in there, which is good. It's a shame that we don't have a headquarters in the future. What, have, uh, what I'd like to do is potentially get a headquarters down there if we if we need one by that time. Ideally, we won't. Uh, but that's something to take into consideration. But we know he's likely he's likely level 2 fortifications by now, or something to that nature. Uh, we'll see. I mean, that is going to be a very heavy bombardment that's going to be going in next turn. Obviously, then we'll have those forces fall back to Rabal. And, uh, yeah, his submarine is going to make it difficult, but we'll see. We'll be able to deal with them. We do have plenty of destroyers. Uh, so we'll just move around about way to deal with that. I move the carriage more or less straight towards Rabal. Uh, this turn, try and gain some distance. Yeah, there's a lot of bloody submarines around here. This is why I didn't want to bring carriers into this area initially, because there's just so many submarines in this area. It's such a tight area, and it's so nasty to deal with. Like, he's got these guys moving west, northeast, uh, east, so obviously the other guys are going to be running into us, but we do have a heavy escort. We obviously have a D3A1 Vals. Uh, we do have the carrier 48s over here as well, so they're running ASW right now. Uh, I think the other one should be ready, in fact. Let's see. Let's give them... There we go. Yeah, production's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, so they'll have to be there tomorrow, but at least we'll have both of them tomorrow. Yeah, so it's getting there. We do have more construction units moving in. I do need to clear those mines, which is rather irritating. We do have a DMS moving in there to actually do so, so ideally that can get that done. I mean, there are our own mines here, so ideally that submarine does run into a mine. Can only but hope. Indeed. Okay. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Yeah, there really was not that much to do this time. Really not that much to do. Just organize things somewhat. So we'll have to see how it goes. So thank you for watching there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this. So save as 91. Yeah, things are starting to get there. I mean, Christ. I just, I just wish we could have obviously had a lot more uh, momentum in the earlier turns, but it takes a lot of like actual experience to be able to learn the game to a degree where you know what you should be doing and really understand why you should be doing it. So, uh, let's say... Um, hmm. Palambang by night. There we go. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching there, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.